can't let this beautiful weather go to waste. So we've been out shopping loads this morning and uh, so I thought I'd just drive up to the top of Mardi Road and uh, drive down to the res and have a bit of a chill down there. Got a few new products to try today. Can't wait. Um, I got my new stove. So I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea by the res and uh, just chill out and have some fun. Looking forward to that. Got my drone with me. So I bought a new backpack so I can fit everything in. <laughs> Probably way, way too heavy. So I'm gonna have to gonna have to figure that one out but um, I'm gonna give it a try so I've driven up today so I can just yeah, chill out and uh, take my time and enjoy the evening so beautiful tonight absolutely delicious so I'm gonna be heading over that way but yeah I'll see you in a bit <laughs> what an idiot <laughs> It's been tracking me so well, and I had forgotten to press record. You missed all the puddle splashing. I love a bit of puddle splashing too. No matter. Anyway, we are just heading down this path now, which will lead us to the river. There's some cracking little waterfalls along this river, so I'm hoping to get my drone up. I know a few of you have asked me what drone I've got. It's the DJI Mini 3 Pro, which I bought from Curry's when it was on special offer. I know the Mini 4 is out now, which has a few extra features, but this seems perfect for me while I'm still learning. I've got insurance on it, so if I do crash or drop it in the water, then hopefully I'm covered. It does take a bit of getting used to, to be fair, and I'm still learning. So many buttons and scrolls that sometimes I'm heading in the wrong direction. You may see from the controller on my bars that I've actually had to add some stickers to it to help me learn which damn direction I need to go in. Otherwise I'm going to end up crashing into the ground when I want to be 120 metres in the air. I do still get really nervous when I lose sight of it though. It doesn't have to go far before I lose it. I have to rely on the screen to see where I'm going. I'm convinced I'm going to hit something, even in the middle of the reservoir. Anyway, it's looking good with the handlebar mount so far seems fairly stable on the bars and get to all the buttons easily pretty good I have found a few mounts on the market though but the others use the screw holes for the lanyard and they aren't that great from reviews I believe they crack the controller housing easily as these don't bolt onto the controller directly there's no chance of damaging it unless actually it falls off the handlebars which is always a possibility this one is through Amazon from Germany. I'll add a link in the descriptions just in case anyone is interested. The GoPro seems to be struggling a little bit tonight. Don't know if there's something going on with the stabilisation. Maybe I've adjusted some of the settings somewhere to turn it off. So apologies for making you all feel sick. But how lush does that sun look? So low in the sky now. I think we're going to be in for a real treat tonight. I can't wait to get up to the res to have a look. It's going to be a perfect sunset, I can feel it. Oh wow! As I was just riding up along this path, I looked down and there is the most amazing waterfall. It's only small, but I'm definitely going to stop here and have a look to see if I can get my drone down into the river and take some really good shots. It looks amazing and the sunlight now is a perfect conditions to get really nice shots. Enjoy!
How amazing was that waterfall? It's funny, you know, that I haven't really paid any attention to them before now. But having the drone, I'm constantly looking for things that I can film. I'm so glad I stopped and spent some time there. I think I've mentioned before, but nature just grounds me. After a stressful day in work, getting out and seeing these is all the medication I need. Sunrise, sunset, waterfalls, anything. Just, oh, it's just perfect. So let's carry on now up alongside this river to Llustwen Reservoir. You can actually get to this if you are travelling along Route 47, which is on the National Cycle Network. This will take you all the way to Swansea, pretty much. They've been doing a lot of work to the dam recently though, so it's been closed off for a little while, but now it seems to be reopened. So let's get up to the res so I can add another sunset to my collection. So I've just managed to climb up the side of the dam, which is pretty steep to be honest. I was wondering how I'd manage on the neat, but I got to the top, no issues at all. Woohoo! Did I tell you I love this bike? <laughs> Right, so I'm now at the top and head into the nice spot that I normally stop on when I come up here. It's a great place for a chill out. And before I stop for my cuppa, I think it's the perfect time to get the drone up so you can see what it's like from up above. so good I've made it to the res and I've had some really good drone shots so far so really pleased and now it's time to have a cup of tea and chill out watch this amazing sunset that is literally going on behind well behind you and just chill in front of this oh it's just insane reservoir honestly I can't I can't get any GoPro footage that's gonna make it feel as good as I am right now but I'll turn you around and you can see so here we go so this is Clustwen on top of Mardi Mountain and look at that sunset that's just happening oh my goodness and then that's the dam it's gonna go down that river that I just rode up the side of. How amazing. This is what powers me. This is what makes me tick. Cool, let's get the kettle on. Here's the new companion. Well, I was looking at the jet boil, um, but this one also has really good reviews and it seems to be cheaper. So this is the OEX. Probably just looking at grass right now, aren't you? Yeah. 
the OEX Huave or something it's called um, but I've used it once for a cuppa in the house earlier <laughs> as you do and it went really well so let's give it a try and this is from all the um, YouTube videos I do watch on wild camping absolutely love it so yeah let's see how it goes yeah it boils boils some the kettle about in about two minutes I think so Basically, you've got the, if you can see, the little twisty thing there. You see it? There you go. So that basically regulates your gas. I can, and then there's a little igniter just there. And we're on. So I'm going to grab some water, which I handed. Handed on my bike. Fill my little jug. Now then, put you down there where well, you're not going to tip. So, yeah, little jug. And then they just literally slot in. Let me find a slot. There we go, one, two, and then, um, where have I got my lid? Pop my lid on, jobs are good then. Got my little mug, <laughs> carabiner mug. <laughs> got it from Go Outdoors today. Oh look, I dropped my keys. Best of them up. So, tea bag, all important.
even enough for another cuppa later on maybe. This little bit as well is really cool um, for you to put a frying pan or something on so you don't have to have it in a in a uh, container like that. You can actually have a frying pan so getting out and making bacon butties first thing in the morning sounds damn good to me. Right let me find my spoon. It's in here somewhere. My milk has leaked. <laughs> so I had to put my milk in the rubbish bag. Let me switch you back on. Because I don't want to leave any trace. As usual, carry your shit home. So I'm just gonna leave that there for a minute. <clears throat> Get me milk. Yes, it's a big bag, but I only had the big as the bags and they don't fold very well, so just hope I've got enough <laughs> milk to have a cup. <laughs> there you go. So I put it in a little mason jar. Just top it up. Perfect. Absolutely bloody perfect. Right. Put you in there. Ready to go home. Because we need to take it all with us. show you then my cup of tea job done how amazing is this little thing look at that it's so small just gonna let it all cool down it's got a thermal wrap around it so actually you can pick it up and it doesn't it doesn't get hot it doesn't burn you and then how about that for the most amazing sunset. Oh, blessed. I am so lucky to be able to do this. Oh yeah, so obviously on the neat again tonight, you probably, I probably mentioned it a thousand times already. My new bag is the Berghaus Arrow Flow Back System 3030. However way you want to look at that, but it's really cool. It's got two massive side pockets, big pocket on the top. It has got a dry bag inside, which is nice because obviously I do carry my drone and that's not waterproof in the slightest. Um, yeah, so, and then it's got a little pocket at the bottom, which has got actually got a waterproof bag. So you can wrap around it as well for extra security. Um, but yeah, so. My phone is over there filming the sunset. <laughs> it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. So yeah, I'm a happy little lady today. <laughs> I was gonna ride around um, the lake because there's a path that goes all the way up there, right around, right around the lake. And then comes down, comes down just there and then you cross over the dam. But you know what? Can't be asked. I'm really enjoying my my time by the water with my cup of tea. <laughs> so while I'm waiting for my tea to cool, because actually it's boiling, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the kit. So I've got that's basically the burner, tiny little thing, just screws onto the bottom. That red thing pulls out. And then that's the ignition. 
really clever. There's your burner. It's already cold. There's no heat to it already, so I can actually pack this away now. And I've literally, well, I haven't even started my cup of tea yet. So, um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty nifty. This is obviously still a little warm. I've still got a little bit of water in there. So I might just tip that. So yeah, so that just slots onto the bottom. And then it's got all those air vents and things to regulate the flow or the heat, I should say. And then you've got a little thermal wrap so you can actually pick it up. Then that just then slots onto there like that. Got a base for it, so it'll keep it a little steadier. That all just slots together, folds together and packs away nicely in the bottom. And then, like I said, this one is for your frying pan when you want to make your bacon butties <laughs> in the morning. And that really is it. Really is cool. Um, and then obviously you've got your your lid, the little plastic nipple on the end, <laughs> so you don't burn your fingers. And then that keeps everything nice and clean. Actually, um, I was looking at those. Let me turn your background. I was actually looking at those um, uh, ready meals in a bag type thing that you can actually fit in these pots. Um, so we could even come up on a evening, probably when it's a bit warmer now, and have dinner up here. Oh, they're the type of things I live for. So yeah, that's uh, that's the kit, and it literally fits really compact in the bag and perfect, right? See you in a bit. <laughs> How cool! Oh, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love. So yeah, oh, I can stay up here all night. The sun is just about going down behind that mountain now. Well, I say mountain, no, a hill. Yes, over the hill. Mm. This tea is so hot. Don't want to go home. More than happy here. Look at this. Whoever left this. They really want to be ashamed of themselves. Why would anyone want to spoil such an amazing view? Like really. So I'm just parked there, but look at it. That's not funny. Sorry guys. That's really peed me off. Right, let's head on back to the van. I'm hoping to get the drone up one more time before it gets too dark, but let's see. It's doing a great job of tracking me at the moment, but it is struggling on occasion due to the drop in light. It's getting dark now, the lights have gone on and the temperature is starting to drop. I've just got a short climb to get back to the road and I've actually decided to head along the road to get to the van this time or I'll have to sit in soaking wet trousers while I drive home. Not all that comfortable, I can tell you. For those that have asked, I'm using the exposure lights now. 
I have gone for the Big Bertha on the handlebars, the Exposure 6 pack, and I've paired that with a Diablo on my helmet. Now, don't make my mistake. I didn't think I needed a helmet light, to be fair, until I was going down the trail at Gravity Bike Park and realised I couldn't see round the corners. What an idiot. Now, don't get me wrong, these aren't cheap. Byron has the next size down to mine, which is the Max D, and that is also great, paired with an exposure joystick. He had a Hope R8 before this, which was good, but the separate battery made it a pain in the bum to put on every time you wanted to go out. I've had all the Amazon special ones from China, and they've all failed on me after a couple of rides. Once in a really awkward place along the river. It went so dark, I nearly ended up down the banking and into the river. That was when I made the decision to invest to save my life. Let's face it, I need all the help I can get. Wow, you can see how, how quickly it gets dark just from following my ride back to the van. Within three miles, it's gone from daylight to dark. Less than 20 minutes. Ah, oh, the road is in sight now. I've attached my little rear lights onto my backpack tonight to make sure I am visible as possible. It's a dark old road up on this mountain pass. I will catch up with you when I'm back of the van. Back of the van. Tucked up nice and warm. And uh, you can't see me because it's literally pitch black now. There you are. <laughs> Camera, lights, torches coming handy for something. So yeah, back of the van, bikes in the van, all cutched up, ready to go home for some dinner. Happy days. See ya.